number one fish award by Tasmania Berlin career mode for FIFA 22. And we will be beginning Bundesliga action here. We are going to be playing against Mönchengladbach. To begin with, we have three games on deck today. We're going to be playing the game against Mönchengladbach. We're going to be simming the game, at, uh, which is another home game against Augsburg. And then we're going to be playing our first away game against the Wolfsburg. I mean, and then uh, next episode, we'll feature three games. We'll probably uh, sim the game against Mainz. And then we'll be playing the games against Greuther and um, RB Leipzig. So, so look a little look forward, uh, peek into the future. By the way, hope you guys have a good day today. So without further ado, which I am going to go ahead and play Schwartz instead of Schaefer, which... You know what I'm going to do? This is going to... I mean... Let's see, where is he? Schaefer's been a loyal servant to us, but he's not happy with his contract anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put him on a transfer list. He's been a good servant, but it's ti really time for us to move on from him. But um, anyway, that is the team that I'm going to be playing against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We're going to be playing under clear skies at the Werner Sport Park. Uh, take a look at their kits here real quick. Tell you what, those away kits are nice. The home kits, eh. The home kits wouldn't look that bad, but the, the shoulder accents look kind of weird to me, if I'm being honest. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the the away kits. I'm, gl I'm glad that I don't have the patch. I'm sure they're probably on it by now, but... Those god-awful third jerseys that Puma made this season are just awful. I'm so glad I don't have to look at them just yet. I don't think I have the latest update on this. But you can take a look at their team real quick. they got a bunch of good players like Turam and Wolf. And Bolo is really good. Luis Felipe, Cuesta. Roussillon is uh, left back really good. I don't know who Yanez is in goal. But hopefully for Moto Gladbach's sake... He won't, he'll be like, uh, Jan Sommer, and hopefully for our sake, he won't be like Jan Sommer, but without further ado, let's play our very first home game as a Bundesliga team. Let's see if we can have a much better campaign than what we had on our first run back in 65-66. You can see Vallejo is the featured player here. I wonder if we're going to be going from left to right or right to left because uh, they must have got Luis Felipe because it's saying first impression. But um, I really want to feel what uh, I want. I really want to see what Schwartz feels like in game. Like I said, I really hope when it comes to Schwartz, I really hope I have the upside and not the downside. That's all I got to say. But anyway, let's get things started here. We are going from left to right, so we are going to uh, try out Schwartz here. Oh, he feels good. A little bit of an uh, extreme cutback there, but Benjamin... Uh, yeah, Benjamin. I want to keep calling him Benjamin, but it's not. His name is Marco Schwartz. As he opens up the scoring, letting everybody know who scored. He has scored a very first goal in the in the, in the Bundesliga. I'll be curious to see who our leading goal scorer is going to be in the Bundesliga this season. I think in real life in Tasmania's uh, sole Bundesliga season, I think the highest goal scorer only had like four goals or six goals or something like that. It was, it's in the description, but it's a very, very low amount of goals. I think it's four. Oh, no! I was going to say nice still, but I just couldn't get a hold on to it. Okay, Schwartz. Let's see what your crossing is like. Hopefully you'll be a better crosser than Schaefer. Oh, I'm, I'd say so. I was going to say I hope you're a better crosser than Schaefer, but... If that's a sign of things to come, yeah, he's going to be super good. 
Yeah, he's gonna be super good. I already like. I'm already liking Schwartz. I'm sorry, Schaefer, but I think your time on this. Uh, well, at least in this, the main starting eleven. I think your time is done. And of course, Vogel picking up where he left off last season. So both our wingers getting on the score sheet here in the Bundesliga. Oh, come on! I'm having the same problem I had last season where I can't dribble past people. Okay, nice. I just cannot dribble past the other players. Okay, somebody get the... Okay. Schneider, can you get your first goal in the Bundesliga? Yes, you can. Yeah, my inability to dribble past the defense is going to be a major problem unless I figure out how to resolve that. I just think it just comes down to, I just need, uh, considering that the opposition has gotten much better since the start of the series, I just need to start playing a little bit smarter. I really can't blame anything. I can't blame the game. I can't blame EA. I just pretty much, have, that's pretty much on me. And I just really ne just need to step up my game at this point. Alejo! I thought he was going to get a hold of that. Of course, my guy's running past everybody. Good steal by Geiger. Okay, Schneider, can you make it a brace? Yes, you can. I think I did good enough to secure a positive result here, hopefully. They do get a goal back from Tony Villa, but uh, we do get our first goal, our uh, first uh, win of the season, which I should say that in Tasmania Berlin's uh, Bundesliga season in real life, they did win their first game and it all went to crap <laughs> the rest of the season. Hopefully that does not happen to us. But uh, you'd see Hamburg beating Augsburg, who was our next opponent, which is good for us, which means we got all the form and they don't. Okay, you could. Uh, we have a uh, thing from Yannick Schaefer. He goes, hey, boss, I'm a bit surprised you're looking to move me on, but I can't say I'm unhappy about it. Can't guarantee you games. It's the best thing for you. Is it, though? Looking at options... I'm just saying, I can't guarantee him games. Which, with the players that I got with Vogel, Schwartz, Omer, and, um, Oriano, I can't really guarantee him, uh, game time, so. Since he is on the chance list, which, by the way, Luka Nets is up to an 85, which is awesome to see. Um, I am gonna go ahead... And put Schaefer in reserves. I'm going to put Omer in there. And I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. I am going to put my set. Do I put my second team up there or do I put my first team up? You know, I, I, I should do the smart thing and put my first team up against Augsburg and then put my second team up against Wolfsburg. I think that's what I'm going to do. Why am I substituting? See, I'm, I'm not thinking right now. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And I don't have any plans of selling Wogel, but if I do get a decent offer for him, I am going to consider letting him go because he is at the same age as Yannick Schaefer, and I probably should look to move him on. As you can see, Lawrensdale has been sold. Yehoda loan agreement. You see a, a loan offer for Oros. To your loan. Yehoda, please, please go. You'll be, trust me, you'll be get with that rating, you'll be getting some game time in for Bruges. And uh, Torino is in for a for Oros. They just won alone. I'm just going to go ahead and happily accept that. Hopefully these guys can move on. That way they don't lose their potential.
See, right now, Hamburg's in fourth place, which, as a Hamburg fan, I, a Hamburg fan, I really do hope that they make the Bundesliga it, it, it's, uh, this season. Because, uh, it's been a kind of a rough go for them, especially the past one or two years, or the past couple years, I should say. But the table's tight in real life in the Spy Bundesliga, but I really do hope they find a way to get promoted. It just The Bundesliga just doesn't feel right. Not having Hamburg in it. I'm not just saying that because I'm a ha uh, Hamburg fan, but you can see good news there. Oros and Yehoda are going to be going out on loan. That's a very good news for us. But we are going to go ahead and uh, sim this game against Augsburg. Which is going to be another home game. Uh, they did lose their last game. Did anybody grow since... Doesn't look like it. Now, I am going to sim quite a few Bundesliga games this season just because we got the Europa League to worry about as well. Take a look at Augsburg's uh, kits here real quick. Their away kits and their alternate kits aren't, leave quite a bit to be desired, but those home kits are beautiful. I love that green and red. I, I like the green and red color combo in general. I just think... It kind of reminds me of Christmas a little bit. Even though I'm not going to be playing this game, I am going to go for Clear Skies. And I'm going to go ahead and quick sim this. Hopefully we get a positive result. I mean, it's not the worst result, but I was kind of hoping for something better. Uh, Schwartz got a goal in the opening minute, which is impressive. And Leonardo gets the equalizer, but uh, not a whole lot happening the rest of the game. Burkhardt comes on for Geiger, Bull comes on for Montes, and Omur comes on for Schneider, so... Yeah, some draw points there, but... Uh, but yeah, just as long as we finish... And like this, I'm gonna I'm gonna say top seven because that's what the board wants. I feel this team is good enough to finish in the top seven. But um, anyway, we are gonna sim forward here. I like how they say who's the going to be the best striker now, both Mbappe and Neymar. The, uh, their... Neymar is not a striker. He is a winger. Crap. Okay, Europa League group stage draw. Good job, BA. Okay, we got a loan offer for Petritus. See a bunch of the games rescheduled. Loan deal with an option option to buy from Goodway Cruz, who I believe are in the Colombian league, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully he'll get some game time there. Uh, with that rating, I don't see why he wouldn't. Let's go ahead and delegate. Let's go for a one year loan. See if the Lithuanian left back can get and um, secure a move there. But I am going to go and play my second team against um, Wolfsburg here. And before I do that, I do want to see who are, who we're going to be playing in the Europa League. Okay, uh, we got Fenerbahce. No picnic there. We got HJK Helsinki. And we have Fener Ferenc Veros from Hungary. So, a pretty favorable draw. I'd say that... Ourselves and Fenerbahce should get out of this group, so... Which, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm... For the next episode, I'm gonna sim the game against Mines and then probably... Helsinki, even though it's a Europa League game, I do want to sim that game. Hopefully our, our team will be good enough. But, uh, let's just focus on the current right now. We are gonna be playing this game against Wolfsburg. Okay, players on international duty. Radetzky and Foyt are going to be going out on international duty. 
But we are up against second place Wolfsburg, who have won both their games so far. Okay, let me just make one minor change here real quick. I think I'm going to give Montes a go here. Give Foyth a little bit of a break. And we're just going to get right into this because we already saw Wolfsburg's kits from last year. But, um... I am not playing in the rain. Why does this game keep insisting having me play in the rain and the snow? This isn't England. It doesn't rain all the time. I mean, no offense to England. I mean, I, I, I got, that is uh, something on my bucket list, by the way, is to go to England. I do want to, and particularly, I want to go to Newcastle and watch a game at St. James. That's like on my bucket list of things I want to do before I die. But, um... Let's see. Okay, let's put the alternate kits on and let's see what this team looks like. Well, I already know what they look like in the away kits, but you guys don't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this team looks like. Those kits pop, by the way. I love... Excuse me. I love those away kits a lot. You see there's this Fabian Sandoval there. Like I said, I do need to work on his dribbling because he does feel kind of weird when, he, when he's on the ball. He feels a little bit like Krause, which I don't really like. But Anyway, we are going to be playing our first away game, which I should say that Tasmania Berlin is the only team in Bundesliga history that has never won an away match. So we could be making history here. Oh! Oh, not, okay. I was wondering if I got... Okay. Not a good pass. Good control there by Sandoval. Is that Sandoval? Yeah, I think that is. I need to start doing a better job recognizing my players. Yep. Uh, Fabian Sandoval with his first Bundesliga goal. Hope he first of many more. I still feel kind of bad about selling Ake, but when I saw this kid in free agency, I just couldn't say no. Nice. Barkok, our MVP last season, can he get his first Bundesliga goal for Tasmania? And he does! As he celebrates with Omar. Oh, nice steal! Okay, Barcock again. I'm not sure if Sandoval took what I said about him the wrong way, but he has really been... This is this is by far the best game I played with. Not like I had a bad game with him off camera, but... Yeah, he seems to be adjusting the uh, life in the Bundesliga really well. As he almost gets another steal. Oh. Surprised I didn't call a foul on that. Oriana. Oh! Took too heavy of a touch there. Uh, what is that passing, Luca Nets? Um. Oh, what are you doing? He was literally doing everything except get the ball off that uh, Wolfsburg player. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Please do not waste this, Soriano. Why did the game select him? But anyway, Elmore, the guy that that was intended for, ends up getting the goal. Yeah, if I were to end up getting a not a, not scoring there, 
I've been completely upset. That would have been completely the game's fault, though, because I, that was not intended for Burkhock in the slightest. And that would have been an absolute waste of a good goal-scoring uh, goal opportunity to have that gone south. Which I'm so glad it didn't. But anyway, I think I've secured enough to re for the result here. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the result. Breckelo does get a goal back in the 70th minute for Wolfsburg. It all comes on for Bull and Schneider comes on for Scheiber. But we do get our first away win in uh, club history. And with that win, we already have more points now than what uh, Tasmania Berlin did for the entirety of the 65-66 season. So in just a, in one month, we're already doing better than what we did in real life. But I'm going to go ahead and just sim ahead here, get past the uh, summer transfer window here. Let's see what kind of deals we can make. Petraeus loan agreement. They're agreeing on a one-year loan, which I'm happy about. Hopefully he'll go out and get some game time. Espanyol ended up getting Eberechieze. That's an inspired signing. But yeah, let's just go ahead and just go through the chance for deadline day here. Petraeus loan rejected. I mean, we did have two loan deals accepted through Oros and Yehoda. I kind of wish that Petraeus would have moved on, but uh, you see Picorni, uh, LAFC want him. Another winger, 18 years old and only 62 rated. I'm not sure if he's going to have much of a future on this team. But uh, let's just go ahead and see if he can agree a one-year loan. Of course, we are running out of time here. Wow, Augsburg got Brian Bobby. Bayern Munich got Yeri Mina and Willy Bully. Those are interesting signings. Gomez, Lewandowski, and Mizrawi ended up getting sold by Bayern Munich. Okay, corny loan agreement, one year loan deal. Let's see if he's going to take this loan. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up rejecting this either. I'm not sure that overall he's going to get much time at LAFC, but we'll see. Kai Havertz went to Real Madrid for 180.2. Uh, Hamburg got Junior and Wolf, or whoever that is. I'm not sure which Wolf. I'm not sure. That's Hannes Wolf. They got themselves a good player. James Tarkowski is now playing for Hertha. That's interesting. Uh, Adela, Adamola uh, Lokman, Abanez, and Alexis Claude Maurice, which Claude Maurice is a guy that I used off camera in my Watford career mode. Corny loan rejected, of course. Mocha Gladbach got a hatter in that. He's a good player. Sell on fee received. As previously agreed with Granada, the terms of Matt Matthias Winkler's transfer include a sell on clause. Following Matthias Winkler departure from Granada CF, we have received our agreed percentage amounting to 55 grand. Hey, little bit's better than nothing. And if, any, if anything goes through, no, I'm just going to straight up reject. Brentford got Yassine Adley, which, funny, uh, funnily enough, I ended up buying him in my Brentford career mode off camera in, in FIFA 19. Okay, I saw what Hertha did. Let's see. Okay, you see we spent 58.8 and we made 25.8. Okay. Our other big brother, Union, they got uh, Pascal Strick from Leeds. They got Dolan and they also got Palacios. I don't know if that's, if that's Ezekiel Palacios. That's a good That's a good transfer for them. You can see over a billion dollars spent in the transfer window. Transfer window closed. Okay, let me see if anybody has grown. Shaba has gone to 78, which is nice to see. I need to look at his 
development plan. And Atal just is not growing. I think I'm going to change his development plan. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not real happy that I wasn't able to let go of Shafu, but... Okay, I want to take a look at Atal's development plan. Because he seems to be stuck at 81. Okay, five weeks. Okay. Which one improves skill moves? Nothing improves skill moves? What kind of BS is that, EA? Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Shiba... See his development plan. Yeah, he's not going to grow anymore. <laughs> Let's just stick him on Playmaker. I mean, I don't really care if he doesn't grow because he is a bench player. I don't really expect my bench players to really grow all that much. A lot of these players are on loan right now, or they're just sitting on my bench because they're not getting loan offers for them. Barakok is not happy with his contract, which I need to fo uh, do something about that. I'm really almost half tempted to transfer this Pacorny. Being 18 years old enough, I don't know. I, I may maybe I won't. I don't know. But yeah, that is where I'm going to call this, but I'm just going to go ahead and send my head here to the game against... I don't remember who I'm playing in the next game. Cassidy transfer offer. Wait, what a, what a time to come in for a transfer offer now. I'm going to go ahead and accept that, though. We won't really get anything if we do sell him until January. And even then, it's not going to be a whole crap load of money, but it does free up a roster spot. Who do we play in the next game? I, I can't believe I don't remember. Oh, Mainz. Okay, yeah. Which, we're probably going to end up starting the next episode by simming that game, so... Because I do have a whole bunch of games that I do want to feature in the next episode. Manchester City end up signing Mbolo from Mönchengladbach. Schaefer transfer offer. $33 million for him. What is he valued at? He's at valued at 40 million. You know what? I'm not going to go ahead. I don't want this to fall through. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Yannick Schaefer, you've been a loyal servant to us, but with much younger players than you, promising young players that are dying for game time, you're going to have to go, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, youth play a couple youth players unsettled. Jakob Harma and Fabian Schweiger are both unsettled. Let's go ahead and look at them real quick before I end the video. Gonna probably gonna have to make some tough decisions here. Harma sixty. Hmm. I'll go ahead and promote you. Schweiger. He has decent potential. Which Jakobsen, Jakobsen, I'm going to go ahead and promote him. Oh boy. If I sign him, I'm only going to have three spots for three more people. You know, I'm going to go ahead and promote him. Why not? 
I just need to be careful now who I promote up because I only do have... And hopefully we'll have two more spots opening up because of Schaefer and Cassidy being sold. Hopefully, hopefully those deals go through. Let's get and get the players that we just signed, put them on loan. You see Schweiger's showing great potential, so hopefully he will go out on loan and get some game time. And once again, and you can see Yaga Parma also showing great potential. Hopefully he'll go out on loan as well. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Next time I'll see you guys, we will be playing, well, we'll be simming a game against Mainz. But most importantly, we will be beginning Europa League action. We are going to be playing against Renabache and Helsinki in the next episode. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.